What if you were constantly dropping the ball on the first impression you were making on fans because they can't find what they want from you or you look cringe from having some bland profile with some earth tone colors for your goth group? Well, a funny thing. So many times when fans first find you, it's through the service you use for a link in bio. Okay. Since these link in bios come up in the top of Google or is what fans click after liking a TikTok of yours and trying to find your song. Your link in bio being set up right is the difference between converting a potential fan who could tell 20 other people about you or someone giving up because you come off lame or personality list. Since for many artists, this is the modern day website. It really functions as one for some of the top top artists in the entire world. And with the death of the greatest Lincoln bio to ever do it, Koji, being upon us in just a few days, well, it looks like it's time to find some new alternatives. So I tried out 20 different Lincoln bio tools and did what those of us whose brains are broken by the internet do. I made a tier list so you can decide which one is right for you. So now that Koji is about to be dead since Linktree bought them and killed it off, instead of continuing the much better service, they're making us all switch services and they're trying to get us to go with Linktree. But if you've ever used these, you know that they're not the best for the free tier that they offer and Koji used to be free. And since I personally used Koji for not only my two personal accounts, but also all of my businesses and a bunch of the profiles my company manages, this is a really disappointing thing and I need a new answer. So with this tier list, I'm gonna lay out which of these Lincoln Bio services are worth considering, since a lot of you seem more confused than usual, which is really saying something, to be honest. Hey. And I should say, none of these companies, aside from Rivet and Koji, have ever given me any money, and no one sponsored this video, so this is just my real opinion. Since I know a lot of you wanna see my tax records, like I'm running for president, and you think I'm getting paid all this money for these videos by companies, but I promise you, no one gave me money to make this. So let's start start by throwing out a lot of services into the garbage, you know, the F category, to just narrow our choices down to what really matters. The fact is, a lot of these are half-assed apps that shouldn't exist and seem like they were made by someone trying to pass a class at community college or are just an add-on to an existing service. So let's toss Campsite, Taplink, Card, TapBio, Everlinks, Shorby, Contact and Bio, Feedlink, Snipfeed, Hop, and LinkedIn Profile into the F tier. Cause these shouldn't be up for consideration and aren't worth discussing past that. Now we get to the reason for this video. Linktree, who claims to have 40 million users, which makes me wonder why this service is so unimaginative and they shut down such a good service. To have your link tree even look decent and get the good design options, you need to pay $9 a month. But if you don't care about money, this is a good, easy to use product and cheaper than many of the other options to get a good looking profile. But I'm so mad at them for shutting down Koji and the fact that they have so many users yet this product is still kind of mid, ugh, kind of makes me not be able to give it a high rating. Koji had so many things about this tool figured out and seeing that this is the go-to product in this category, it's really lame that this product is so, well, I'm giving them A tier because it's very easy to make one and you shouldn't spend hours making your Lincoln bio, but truly, this is an important tool and the one that's most popular should be way better than this. So no god tier for them since this is a silly amount of money to spend for this level of a product. But let's stop the video for one second and tell you about a really exciting thing. I have a new free tool I've made for you. We're discussing a lot of tools in this video. So for years, I've kept a list for myself of every tool I know of for musicians, which is well over 100 of them, for marketing and promotion. Since when I'm on consulting calls, I need to recall what I recommend and I can't keep track of all of them. Well, this weekend, I decided to give you all a treat. I made a version of it that has every tool in music marketing that I think is worth evaluating, and it's free on my Ko-Fi page. So pop over there and pay whatever you want for it, including nothing. This has my opinion on every type of service, from the submit hubs to the website builders and whatever else you would want to use. And I even link if I've ever made a video on any of the resources. Also, I'll be adding to it every quarter. So if it's useful, pop by every once in a while and get a new version. But feel free to hit the description for a link to my Ko-Fi page and grab this for whatever you feel like paying. Let's move on to some entries in the eh tier. 
First, we got Flowdesk, who I actually use for my email marketing needs because it's cheap and clean and fast, and I can afford to spend a little extra to not use one of the cheaper ones that don't work as well, but this is a useless tool for musicians link and bio. Pally is an amazing social media tool and really useful in a lot of instances, but their link and bio ain't it, eh tier. Link Pop, which is Shopify's own tool, is nice if you go hard on Shopify, but it's not right for musicians. Eh. Linkfire has great integrations for musicians and is aimed at them, but the price for what you get I personally find silly when you can get better ones for one third the price. Eh tier. Then we get to Comey, not to be confused with Koji, since seemingly tech companies love naming themselves something similar to another one to always keep us confused. Anyway, Comey seems aimed at musicians and influencers, and it really has great features. It also has probably the best looking profiles, but the top tier, which really has great features, is $80 a month. Oh, okay. Now granted that does include email marketing, which is an added on price that you would pay for another service, but if you're gonna go this this hard on email marketing and a link in bio, you should probably separate out both those services for a more full service product. But the two lower tiers are more affordable for what the product gives. Though I find the commission on Shopify on the bottom tier to be a bit silly, but whatever, go off. It's a good product, and if you're going hard on merch and Shopify, this is definitely my pick, as the integration is so good. Get into that A tier for those of you who are willing to shell out some money monthly for a really good looking product. Now, let's throw some actually well-designed products into the NA tier, because they're just not for musicians. Lead pages, Jotform, Instapage, and Seedprod, you all go to nah. Now let's talk about a product I made a whole video on, which is Rivet. Now, Rivet doesn't have the best looking Lincoln bio pages, but the functionality and the product they're building and the power you have when you get someone onto it, in my eyes, gets them in the A tier. Since it really is an exceptional product with great features for musicians to message fans and grow them. But I also trust that they're gonna keep building it out to what they showed me that is coming next, and that looks really promising. But now let's talk about one of the God tier products, which is Later's app, LinkedIn.bio. This is one of the most diverse and good looking products for this. Oh, look at that. It says they're trusted by hype beast. Well, guess what, dog? Now you're trusted by incel hype beast since I'm gonna be using it for my personal brand now. What? But really, what makes this a god tier product is it's really customizable and integrates really well into Later's product, which lets you schedule posts and easily add your content into the grid on the Lincoln bio they have. Since if you are constantly posting videos and doing interviews and sharing things, it's super easy to get your links added right here and customize how it looks. Probably a lot of features for many of you, but you can also keep it pretty simple. And this product is great. If you're already using Later's amazing product for social media posting, well, this is a no brainer since you have it built into your monthly fee of about $17 a month, which is considerably lower than many of the other products who offer much less for that money. It really is a diverse product, and I am gonna throw it right in that God tier. Beacons is another one that has really great integrations. Since you can get a decent profile from the free tier, and the fact that it has so many integrations, especially if you're a musician who has a big team with marketing goals, they have super solid integrations for that. This is a really forward thinking company, and frankly, Lincoln bios are kind of the smallest thing they do, and there's so many cool features to look around here since they have a really cool product. They're well worth your consideration since while I wish their interface was a little better, I think for the price of free, this is as good as it gets in functionality and a good looking first impression on fans that's really customizable to your own look. They're in the God tier. Okay, so you probably know now which Lincoln bio is for you, or at least which ones to explore. So here's the thing, while you now know that, if you really wanna grow your fan base, you need to understand what to post on TikTok Reels and YouTube Shorts to blow up your song, which is in the video on the screen right now. So make sure to watch that if you really wanna level up. Thanks for watching.